Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new showcase, and this is the second part where I showcase my fantasy terrain. So I have here less uh, terrain maybe than in 40k. Uh, I will not share some of the most common terrain like hills or forests that are done with um, quite basic trees. I will, I'm going to share the ones that I really had an effort to paint and to explain a little bit uh, what you are going to see. Uh, here we have first the, the Garden of Moor, now have a different name. And I went for a very European, North European look like, or most likely North France looking like. So with this type of green um, colors on, on the uh, roofs. And then also this uh, bronze with uh, some oxidation. Uh, this dark and, and quite extremely highlighted, or quite highlighted uh, dry brush stones. And I think it's one of my favorite pieces, if not the, my favorite piece in my collection. It's more, uh, none of the parts are glued together, so I can put them as big block like this one. I can uh, make them, for example, imagine that you do like a corner where you can put more uh, separation between the houses and treat this as a runes uh, type of section. So uh, it's quite a nice terrain, looks Awesome! I think it's one of the best terrains. Uh, uh, also from Games Workshop, I really enjoyed painting that. I uh, have a lot of detail, a lot of detailed things that I, I really enjoyed painting. Uh, so if you can buy this again uh, on sale from Games Workshop, I I really recommend as a piece of terrain. There's also all this type of roses all around there. So really a, a lot of uh, small details, uh, very nice. The houses can be removed. So you can put the houses, you can take them out, or not the houses, I have to say the creeps can be removed, and then inside there are, um, what's called this, there are sarcophags and also tombs inside. So you see that I did not glue never the, uh, neither the cover, so you can remove the cover of the sarcoph uh, sarcophag, and then inside you will find the, the mummy or the skeleton or something like that. So. Uh, Highly detailed, very nice uh, kit, and I think it's you can uh, play it, it in, in very different ways. The next one is this type of watch magic tower. Uh, I went for reddish stone inspired by the uh, what's called the realm of fire, actually, the realm of fire in Age of Sigmar. Uh, I decided to paint, I don't know, all each stone is for a different type of realm, but I decided to paint all them glowing with fire. Uh, I went for an old looking wood, I did tutorial how to do this wood, uh, very fast and, and quite nicely looking. So this is very easy to do, and it, it's a lot, on, when you do terrain like that, it's a lot of dry brush and trying to uh, do some areas with a stronger dry brush and other areas with less uh, dry brush. So in that way you, have, you can create shades, you can create different tonalities. And uh, yeah, and in that case I even dry brush with orange. So although I start from black, this way it's looking this brownish, orangey looking like. So it's quite a nice piece of terrain. Also a lot of uh, small details around there. There is all these mechanics here that they paint on and like bronze uh, brass colors so really uh, another uh, kit from Gage Workshop uh, here we have one of the two realm gates that I painted this is one for the realm of Akshi uh, again with all this fire I went for a very vibrant fire and this is not really fire what you see here is like more a uh, ether type of uh, substance so this is why I did not go for what I normally do with fire that I use the bottom of the fire bright and the more exposed and uh, darker because uh, for me this is more looking like ether looking like or something that very weird substance you see that is not flowing like fire it's really flowing like a magical type of material and for the stones I did the same as I did on the tower so I started from um, really dark uh, black in the case uh, starting with browns to the first dry brushes up to uh, light yeah, red so this is why you have all this contrast combined with some um, bone colors and as well some brass on some other parts and this is another gate and this one I painted more like looking uh, I was more inspired here on the gates that we have on Warhammer 40k this was to put on uh, 
a table for uh, harlequins and I want it to look like warp uh, looking like uh, something like that so this way I went for uh, a myriad of colors on this uh, type of ether again uh, here I want to do some marbling was my one of my first experiments and a lot of the airbrush and other details are all here so you, this was done so uh, these are really the, are two types of same pieces. This is from the other side, but uh, you will see in the pictures later on uh, from the other from both sides. These are really nice uh, pieces of terrain from Gage Workshop, and they have a lot of character. And and that's all. So we are back to the Garden of Moors. Uh, so this is my fourth pieces of terrain that I wanted to share here. I say in fantasy, I paint less terrain than in. 40k, uh, I always been more inspired on 40k and I start uh, earlier to paint the rain of 40k But uh, there is some nice rain now against worship is launching for fantasy as well So most likely in future I will try to do some more terrain to have more variety on my table So that's all what I want to share here and now you will see more pictures more detail of all these pieces of terrain I hope you enjoy them uh, please let me know what do you think and as again as I did in my previous uh, video if you want to vote for the best piece of terrain of these four uh, or you can include the best piece of terrain comparing this uh, side uh, this fantasy pieces with the sci-fi that I put in another video so that's all for now I hope you like what you see here looking forward to see your comments your questions uh, give a like if you have liked this video and as usual thanks a lot for watching and now enjoy the pictures Bye.